So, you wanted to know what the ultimate family guard dog breed is, and together we went on a 16 dog knockout tournament adventure to crown the canine show's ultimate family guard dog breed. However, every breed featured in that tournament makes superb family guardians, and in today's video, we're going to take a more detailed look at one of the best family guardians in the world, the Bull Mastiff. Today's video is proudly brought to you by PetFlow. As long-time viewers will know, my Bull Mastiff passed away a couple of years ago from cancer at the age of just four. Since then, I have studied and researched canine dietary requirements at length and firmly believe she died early from the poor diets often found in common dog food, even those heavily marketed as healthy. After her passing, I vowed to never make that mistake again and only feed my dogs the very best food money can buy. And PetFlow offers those foods and much more, all at amazing prices with free shipping over $49. All canine show viewers get $30 off your very first auto ship order. So make sure you use the link and the promo code in the description box below to find out more. So our first round was temperament with children. This round was important for obvious reasons. If you're going to bring a guard dog into your home with children, it is absolutely imperative that they be good with your children of all ages. But it's also important thinking of the bigger picture, including your children's friends coming over to play or meeting other children out in public. They are known to be high-spirited and quickly become devoted members of a family, always ready to protect the people they love and their property. They are known to be gentle and tolerant of children when trained and socialised well, but care should always be taken with large breeds like the Bull Mastiff, as accidents can easily happen, especially with smaller children. The Bull Mastiff is known to be an extremely loyal and courageous dog that forms a strong bond with their owners. They need to be well socialised and correctly trained from a young age so they learn their place in the pack and who is the alpha dog in a household, or they can start to show a more dominant side to their natures. As such, these large and powerful dogs need to have an experienced handler who knows how to manage them. The Bull Mastiff is not a good choice for the first time owner because they might just get the better of them. These dogs are quite high energy and highly intelligent which means they need to be given the right sort of direction from an early age and then throughout their lives for them to be truly well rounded dogs. Bull Mastiffs tend to be wary around the people they don't know and will generally only tolerate being around strangers when they have been introduced to them by their owners. This is just one of the reasons they make such brilliant watchdogs. Our second round was Intimidation Factor. This round was in the contest as for a guarding breed, 99% of the time intimidation is enough to scare off any would-be bad guy. A feat that any dog can do, but the scarier they look and the scarier they sound, the less likely they are to try and attack you, your family, burgle your house or something even worse. Bull Mastiffs can grow 64 to 69 centimetres, weighing 50 to 59 kilos for the males, and females 61 to 66 centimetres, weighing 41 to 54 kilos. Bull Mastiffs are muscular, powerful and impressive looking dogs that boast devoted natures. They have large square heads and when alert or interested by something, wrinkles appear on their faces. They have a very pronounced stop and quite short muzzles with broad noses and wide nostrils. Eyes are either dark or hazel in colour and set wide apart on a dog's head with a very obvious furrow in between them. Eyes are a distinct V-shape, folded well back and set wide and high on a dog's head. Their ears are small and boast being a slightly deeper colour than the rest of their bodies. Their jaws can be very slightly undershot, although more level is like the better. A bull mastiff boasts strong teeth that are set well apart, and their necks are arched, muscular, and moderate in length. Bull mastiffs have wide and deep chests that are well let down in between their front legs, which adds to their powerful appearance. They have a deep brisket with muscular sloping and powerful shoulders. Their front legs are straight and very powerful looking, set wide apart. Their back is short and level, which gives these dogs a very compact look about them. The hindquarters are also extremely muscular with dogs boasting deep flanks and strong muscular back legs. Their feet are very cat-like being well arched and boasting round toes and very hard paws with dark coloured nails. A bull mastiff's tail is set high and is thicker at the base before tapering to the tip which dogs carry slightly straight or slightly curved. When it comes to their coat the bull mastiff boasts a short and hard extremely weather resistant close line coat. The accepted breed colours from the Kennel Club registration are as follows. Brindle, brindle with black muzzle, fawn, fawn with black muzzle, or red or red with black muzzle. Bull Mastiffs can have slight white, mark white markings on their chest, which are acceptable as a breed standard. Their muzzles must be black, with the colour blending in with their coats towards their eyes, and with dark markings found around their eyes. Their colouring adds to a Bull Mastiff's expressive face. When a Bull Mastiff moves, they do so with a great sense of purpose and power. Their legs never cross over with their front right and left back leg moving at the same time. Dogs have a firm back with a tremendous amount of thrust coming from their hindquarters, showing a lot of balance in a Bull Mastiff's gait. Before we start the third round, I wanted to quickly let you guys know that if you're interested in the products that I recommend that you must own when having a Bull Mastiff, I've left links in the description box below for you to check out. Our third round was trainability. 
As most guard dogs tend to be large breeds, it's imperative that they are well trained and obedient to your commands to keep yourself, others and themselves safe. When you add a large dog into a family environment, trainability is even more important as there is more that the dog needs to understand and more people they need to be able to take commands off and be forgiving with inconsistencies that can happen in such an environment. That's why this round was more than just which dog ranks higher in intelligence. Although the Bull Mastiff is an intelligent dog, they are known to have quite a stubborn streak in them, which is why careful, yet firm handling is needed right from the word go, if you want to share your home with one of them. It's also worth bearing in mind that when they are puppies and adolescents, the Bull Mastiff can be quite headstrong, very lively and boisterous, which makes getting them to focus during their training a little more challenging. Mastiff puppies may be cute, but they must be taught the ground rules right from the word go so they understand the limits and boundaries that owners set for them because these cute puppies grow into powerful, strong dogs. The fourth round was health and life expectancy, and this was a bit more straightforward as when you bring a dog into your family environment, they become a part of that family, and as with any member of the family, you want them to be fit, healthy, and around for as long as possible. And the average life expectancy of a bull mastiff is between 8 and 10 years when properly cared for and fed an appropriate, good quality diet to suit their ages. Like so many other pure breeds, they are known to suffer from a few hereditary health issues, which are worth knowing about if you are planning to share your home with one of these large and lively dogs. The health issues most commonly seen in the breed include the following. Brachiophallic obstructive airway syndrome, various cancers, hip and elbow dysplasia, persistent papillary membrane, progressive retinal atrophy, canine multifocal retinopathy, dominant progressive retinal atrophy, bloat or gastric torsion, entropion, skin allergies such as eczema, dermatitis or muscle pyroderma, kidney stones or cervical malformation. And our fifth and final round was actual protection ability. Now, when we're talking about a family guard dog, all the other things are nice to have, but ultimately, when we use the word guard dog and not watchdog, then we simply can't leave out actual protection ability. Now, I mean this also with a focus on family guarding, not things like guarding sports or competitions like IPO, which although are superb and I'm a huge fan of them, I wanted to know what dog would be best to protect my family if I was out of the house and someone broke in. No fancy takedowns or sleeve work, just pure raw protection capabilities of the dog's loved ones if they were in harm's way. And bull mastiffs are natural watchdogs and will be quick off the mark to let an owner know when there are strangers about or when there's something they don't like is going on in their environment. Mastiffs do not need to be trained to guard or protect because these are deep traits that are deeply embedded in the dog's psyche and history. And by doing so, it could mean that a dog might show a more aggressive and dominant side to their natures, which is something that should be avoided at all costs. Originally bred to help gamekeepers track down poachers, these large dogs have become popular companions not only here in the UK, as they were bred not to bite but rather to apprehend bad guys, which for many people, myself included, is a huge bonus as it's reassuring to know that you have a powerful natural watchdog, but one that's unlikely to misread a situation resulting in an unneeded bite. Don't forget to check out PetFlow's website and consider signing up to have your pet food delivered directly to your door at amazing prices with an additional $30 off when you use the link and promo code in the description box below. I'm going to leave you with some more clips of the glorious bull mastiff so you can see just how wonderful these beautiful animals are. Click the top left video for the Bull Masters first round contest in the tournament or click bottom left for another one of my videos that I think you'll enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next Ultimate Dog Breed tournament and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of The Canine Show.